The Farmyard Tales by Stephen Cartwright and Heather Amory. Wooly Stops the Train This is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs. Boot, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam. <laughs> and a dog called Rusty. <laughs> this is Ted. He drives a tractor and helps Mrs. Boot on the farm. He waves and shouts to Mrs. Boot. What's the matter, Ted? asks Mrs. Boot. The train is in trouble. I think it's stuck. I can hear it whistling and whistling, says Ted. We'll go and look. Poppy and Sam can come too, says Mrs. Boot. And Rusty, says Sam. They walk ac across the fields. Soon they come to the train track. They can just see the old steam train. It has stopped but is still puffing and whistling. Look at those sheep. They are on the track, says Poppy. That's why the train has stopped. Silly sheep, says Sam. <coughs> it's that naughty woolly. She's escaped from her field again, says Poppy. She wanted to see the steam train, says Sam. We must move them. You can help me, says Mrs. Boot. Come on, Rusty, says Sam. <coughs> they walk up to the sheep. How can we get them home? We can't get them up the bank, says Ted. We'll put them on the train, says Mrs. Boot. <coughs> Come on, Wooly. They drive the sheep down the track to the train. Wooly runs away, but Rusty chases her back. We'll lift them up. Please help me, Ted, says Mrs. Boot. Ted and Mrs. Boot lift the sheep up into the carriage. <coughs> All aboard! Poppy, Sam, Mrs. Boot, Ted, and Rusty climb up into the carriage. Mrs. Boot waves to the driver. The train puffs along. It stops at the station. Mrs. Boot opens the door. Poppy and Sam jump down onto the platform. How many passengers, says the guard. Six sheep, one dog, and four people, says Mrs. Boot. That's all. Let's all go home now, says Mrs. Boot. They take the sheep back to the farm. I think Wooly just wanted a ride on the train, says Sam. Ah, ah, ah. Ah.